Hey guys, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. And I want to let you know that we're going to start a contest every month. So for the whole year, every month we're going to be giving away some bling. You can get some swag like our B-52 Bucktails, get our Magic Metal Jigs. We're also going to be giving away t-shirts and hats from the TV show. And a few of you are going to win free fishing trips. Join me on filming trips or join me on a trip on my own boat, the Misuenio that I do private charters on. So to qualify for these giveaways, all you have to do is subscribe right here to my YouTube channel, leave a comment down below, and please follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and you'll qualify to win some of these great prizes. Every month I'll be giving them away. So enjoy the video, and I'll talk to you afterwards. This week on Sport Fishing, we're fishing aboard the Legend. Never done an episode on this boat. We were invited by Skipper Chuck Chaff to come out and fish with them. Really looking forward to it. Right now we're off the Mexican coast, we're looking for yellowfin tuna, dorado, you never know what to expect. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. All right. <laughs> I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Oh. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. Legend fishing with Jack. Tip Jack, it was Dan Hernandez. Yellowtail. 
Yellowfin. Yeah, Yellowfin with Dan Hernandez. Nice job. All right. Hey guys, that last bite that we got was on a troll stop. So what that means is we got all these lines right here in the water and they all have trolling lures in the water. So what we're trying to do is get the tuna to come up and bite the trolling lures. And when they bite those trolling lures, we can bring the whole school of fish right to the boat. And that's when the crew's chumming the bait and the fish stay around the boat and then everybody else gets a rod and reel, tosses out a live bait. So right now what we're doing to help the captain find fish, we have our trolling rods in the water. And that's what we're trying to do. That's the elephant on Jake. Hello, it's up to you. Sorry, go ahead, Captain. All right, give me a little clap. There you go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I got here. Oh, busted off. We just got busted off, fishing a really light line. It's pretty wide open. Every fly line bait right now is getting bit. I'm gonna go grab another bait, try it again. This week in the Tackle Box, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today. We're fishing offshore. We're fishing for school-sized tuna. When I say school-sized tuna, I'm talking about fish from 12 pounds to 20, 25 pounds. That smaller range, that school size that we find sometimes. And we're seeing a lot of them offshore today. So for that type of fishing, you can really downsize your tackle. You don't need the big heavy two speeds that you normally use for big tuna fishing. For this smaller school size fish, something like this works out good. Little level line reel, 65 pound spectra on the bottom, 20 and 25 pound fluorocarbon on top. If we get those fish like 30 and 35 pounds, then we can go up to a 30 pound fluorocarbon. But for the fish we're catching right now, the 20 and 25 pound fluorocarbon is perfect for that type of fishing. And you don't want to use mono, you really want to use fluorocarbon to make it harder for the fish to see. Now, when you go fishing out of San Diego, you never really know what kind of bait they're gonna have. Sometimes it's small anchovies, small sardines. Sometimes it's really big sardines or mackerel. And because of that, I really recommend you bring a wide selection of hooks with you. Bring a tray like this. So it doesn't matter what kind of bait shows up there at the bait receiver that they put on the boat. You have a hook for small anchovies, small sardines. You have a hook for normal sized sardines. You even have a hook for monster sardines and mackerel. And if you run into those bigger tuna, you'll be fishing with a different rig that I'm talking about. You have hooks for that too and for marlin. So it's really important you bring these hooks with you. That way, no matter what the bait situation is, you're prepared. 
The other thing I would say is if there's lots of bluefin, I would use some circle hooks too. Another way to catch tuna is with artificials. And one of the best jigs to use is something like this, a magic metal jig. Both the mackerel color and the red color have been real popular this season. You just cast these out, throw it past the fish, let it sink 10, 15 seconds, and grind it back as fast as you can. And you'd be surprised how good they work. The tuna will jump all over it. You can't wind it too fast for tuna. They're so fast, they're gonna catch up and bite it. When you get bit, just keep winding, bring the fish in, and it's really easy to do. Well, that's the basic gear you need for this type of fishing. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. <laughs> Elephant with Dan on the little test. <laughs> Another beautiful yellowfin tuna, just wide open fishing here aboard the legend. Thanks, man. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Look at that, every bait in the corner, guys. Every single bait to boil. Yellowfin for the day with Dan Hernandez. Don't quit fishing. 
Bill Yellow's been on the Dan Hernandez show. We are in a wide open bite. This is why you come tuna fishing. There's another gaff right there. I just got bit. There's a skippy next to me. Yellowfin in the corner. Here comes my fish. Okay, here's, here's my skipjack. You can see all the fish. Look at all the tuna. There's tuna and there's skipjack right here next to the boat, under the boat, wide open. Another skipjack, beautiful fish. All right, let's take a little break from the action here aboard the Legend and go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these delicious fish for catching. This week in the galley, we're down in Long Beach, California, aboard my boat. Standing next to me is Chef Rock. Hey, hey Chef. Hey, Dan. How are you, sir? Long time no see. Always a pleasure. And yes, it's a great time <laughs> to be hanging with you because I'm hungry. Good. I'm hungry. Chef has his own TV show in Hawaii, and I've known him for many years with different TV shows he's done here in the States. Today, you're going to cook for us, and what do you have in store? Well, one of my favorite dishes to do in uh, Hawaii is ahi, of course. Okay. Uh, we, you have some beautiful tuna that yeah, you Yeah, this is local tuna we just caught. We're going to dredge it, we're going to sear it, and then I'm going to make a little glaze that's to go over the top. Something okay. simple, easy, you can serve it over glass noodles, anything you want. So I have some started. wasabi. Okay. Just powdered wasabi. I'm going to go with a little fuchikake. You can go with any flavor you want. This one has a little bit of the uh, two different types of seaweed, sesame seeds, a little bit of ginger, and some garlic. So you just want to blend it all together so you incorporate all those great ingredients together. Mm -hmm. Spread it out because I'm going to dredge our tuna in there. So I got some beautiful tuna here. And uh, whoever caught this did a That's nice mine. job of filleting. So I'm just going to dredge this really quick to that pan. Get my hands a little white real quick. And then I want to turn these because they quickly cook. And you'll see that. You're searing it. You're not cooking it all the way through. Do the ends. It puts a nice crust on the outside of that ahi. But while we're waiting, we're gonna make a little sauce. I try a little glaze. I get a little barbecue if you wanna hold that bowl. Okay. Since we're kind of limited on a little space, space here. Sweet Chinese chili sauce, but equal amounts. I'm going with a little bit of sesame seed oil. A little bit of soy. And this is one of my little special sauces that I actually do for ahi. A little crushed red pepper, some green onion, just sliced. And then I'm gonna just kinda mix it all together. So, perfect, look at that. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put this right on top and then shingle that down so you see that beautiful ahi. Then I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of glaze. This will make the perfect dish for any like brunch mm -hmm. or anytime you're having a little chateau party on the yacht, right? It'd be nice to just watch football and have that. I was just gonna say, I, I would be a good Super Bowl dish. Enjoy that. Yeah, nice and easy to do. Simple and tasty as well. Beautiful dish. This looks great, I gotta try Anytime, it. anywhere. Oh, this is like sushi, you just pick it yeah, up. Yeah, just with the fingers. Pick it up Some and sauce. Eat it, buddy. Try that sauce. Mm. Well, thanks, Chef. Pleasure, Dan. Always good to see you. Yeah, it was nice to see you. And if you're in Hawaii, look for him on TV. He's right. there. And you might see him at your local station, too. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. <gasps> yeah! Woo! There you go, buddy. <laughs> nice. Yellow? Yellow. My first yellow! Yeah. All right. Wow. Woo! Well, oh, nice 
Nice the legend, one, Dorado Dan on the Hernandez. legend. All right. right. Sport fishing with Dan Hernandez. Join him on the legend. Here we go, I got another. Oh, I got a yellow fin right here, Gaff. Yellow fin tuna. That's what nice we came for. Dan. Thank you. All right, guys, this is what we're catching. A lot of yellow fin tuna out of this stuff right now, guys. An awesome trip fishing aboard the legend. They run out of HM Landing. For more information, check out their website. We're going to take a little break right now from this wide open bite. And when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. Thanks a lot, Chuck. Oh, I got it. For this week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about how I caught my fish today. It was all about light line. I was using a small level line reel, light action rod, 65 pound test spectra with 20 pound fluorocarbon and a small hook. Our captain, um, Chuck, last night was telling us, you got to go with that smaller hook and the light line to get bit, and that was the key. Later on, when we got in that wide open bite, you could go up to 30, but the early bite was all about using 15 and 20 pound fluorocarbon and I caught my fish on the 20 pound. And you can see we did really good. This isn't even all the fish we caught today. This is just some of them. A lot of fish are already down below in the slammer. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And just wanna remind you, we have that contest going all year long. Every month we'll be giving away prizes. You still have time to get in while you're watching the video. Subscribe right here to my YouTube channel. Leave a comment down below. Make sure you like this video. And also follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. I'm TV Dan on Instagram. Thanks again for watching. Enter the contest and maybe you'll want a trip to come fish with me on my boat, the Mi Sueño. Thanks guys, talk to you later.